I am no longer saving for three bags this year. I am saving for zero bags this year. Uh, but let me explain why. Uh, about two weeks ago, my mom took a fall and was rushed to the hospital. And in the hospital, they determined that she has rapid onset dementia and that she will never be able to live independently ever again. And all my life, I've, not all my life, obviously, but for a majority of my life, I've been told, oh, don't worry about us when we get older, we have long-term care insurance. Long-term care insurance will take care of us. We spend all this money on long-term care insurance. And now here we are at a stage in her life where she really needs long-term care. And long-term care insurance is definitely not what I thought it was. There are so many things it doesn't cover. There are so many um, days that you have to wait in order to get coverage. It will maybe cover a half of her care and what she needs. And actually getting it and the paperwork, it's just, it has been a nightmare. Um, part of the problem is that my dad, story time, my dad, thinks that he can live independently without her. Like she goes to a facility and he lives independently in the retirement community, which he is accustomed. The problem is he really can't live independently. He needs a rollator to walk. He can't go shopping on his own. He needs help cleaning. He needs help cooking. He can't do his own laundry. There's not much that he can really do independently. So I suggested that they both move into assisted living because when you need that much help with day-to-day -day activities, I think that's the definition of someone who could use some assistance living, hence the term assisted living. But he's kind of fighting me. He's like, what about my furniture? I mean, you can't take it with you, but anyway. Um, his idea is he wants to pay the $800 or something a month that is required to be like the condo association dues for the retirement community. And then on top of that, pay for my mom to live in an assisted living slash nursing home facility. And they're both paying to live separately so that he, I, it just doesn't make any sense to me because I, but anyway, it made me really think about saving and saving for the future and healthier life changes, <laughs> um, better life, just better, taking better care of myself, no alcohol. That's the first thing. Alcohol is completely out of my life now. It is never coming back. It's zero, zero alcohol, less sugar, I mean, I'm not going to say no sugar, just less sugar uh, and exercise and uh, reading my Bible more, being more grateful, being more in the moment. But long-term care insurance is just not what I thought long-term care insurance was going to be and you really need to take care of yourself and at my age right now I need to start saving and putting into a retirement fund and planning for the future because when I get to be in their age or in that situation I would like to have a decent amount of options and you know go to a nice place and really be self-sufficient and not make my child fill out so much paperwork. Uh, it's just, it's, it's crazy. Um, if you've any, if you've been through like power of attorney or you understand like when you have um, another living relative, so they put me on as the power of attorney, but I'm only power of attorney after my dad kind of relinquishes his role and he's like, I'm of sound mind, that whole thing. So I, my dad's like, I need help with all this medical paperwork and medical stuff, but I can't really help because they won't give me the information because he's still, you get it. So what I've decided to do is go through my current bag collection because I love my bags. I'm not selling any of my bags, but if I had to do it over again and I had money to spend on bags, which ones would I actually invest in and which ones would I have passed on and said, you know what? No, your money is better spent 
elsewhere. So I'm gonna use the existing bags that I have. I'm gonna do one a week, um, some SLGs in addition, and go through my whole collection and tell you like, yes, I would, I would still invest in this piece. Knowing that I'm saving and everything else, if I didn't have this piece, I would save up money for this piece. I would definitely invest in this piece. Or like, no, I personally would just skip it. So because I usually do things that I like, I'm gonna start with a bag that I really don't like, which is going to make some people very sad because I know it's a classic, a bunch of people have it, it's reasonably priced in the luxury market, and that bag is my Alma BB. Now, it's a beautiful bag. It is. It currently retails for, I think, seventeen sixty on the LV website, which for a Louis Vuitton, that is reasonably priced. The wallet on chain, the Ivy wallet on chain is I think exactly the same amount of money as this. Mine happens to be in the traditional monogram with the Vaquetta, but you can get it in any, I, they have made this bag in just about every single print design. You can get it in Empreinte, you can get it in Epi. All, that's what I'm talking about. Just got a call. They need more information for my mom, for her insurance. Okay, so back to the bag. Um, the Alma BB. So why don't I like it? First of all, it's very structured. So I'm not a huge fan of structured bags to begin with. Um, I don't really keep, I feel, a lot of stuff in here, but if, using my phone to film, got my candy bar, and my keys are over there. But anyway, it just, you can't fill it up too much. Obviously, like I can't bring a camera or a gimbal or anything in there because I do feel like it, if it, if stuff gets up to the top, it gets kind of wrinkly and weird. So that's the first thing. Um, the second thing that I don't really like about it is I don't like this strap. Not because it isn't detachable or um, it is detachable I'm sorry it's detachable see the phone call just throws you it just completely throws um but it's it is long and I don't normally care about that but it it's so thin it's I feel like it's too thin for the bag it's really uncomfortable and when I walk I don't know if you can see the bag like as I walk it kind of sticks out in front of me like this sometimes and that just looks weird <laughs> like it's just weird it's really awkward and it's just it's not a comfortable strap so I do tend to use this more as a um, top handle it can't quite go up on my shoulder but I you know crook of the arm but then the strap gets in the way I mean yeah it has the feet on the bottom which I do like but I don't know, I just, um, I, I just feel as though it's, it's just not one of my favorite bags. And so for the price, I would find something else where I would save my money for something else, um, just because I just, th this is not a bag that I grab uh, frequently it's n because mine has the untreated leather it's not a bag that I would take out in the rain but that doesn't really bother me so much um it's just not comfortable this is not a comfortable bag and it's not easy like my speedy when I wear it like this um it's just easier to get in and out of this one it's harder to close up I don't know for whatever reason I can't even pinpoint why I don't love this bag but here's what I would say I ordered this bag online and it was several several price increases ago like it's been a while um so 
I didn't see it in person. I mean, I'd seen it in person, but I didn't play with it in person. I didn't use it in person. And I think if I had worn it around the store and I'd felt what it felt like on my body, and I would have gotten a better idea and a sense of this bag, I don't think I would have bought it. So my best advice to you is to go to the store and see how you like this bag on your frame. So I'm 5'2", very small. It just really like cuts into my bone right here and it it's just, it's not comfortable. I don't like the way it looks when it comes around to the front like that and it's like, I just, I don't, I don't know. It's just not one of my favorite bags. It's, it adds like a dressier vibe to a casual outfit, but it is not a dressy bag. I don't feel like it's a dressy bag at all. So that's just my take on it. So if I were someone saving money or if I had like a very specific list of things that I was saving for, this would not be on that list. It's not that it's a horrible bag, and if it's your favorite bag, I'm sorry. If I'm, I just, I very rarely hear anything negative about this bag. This is usually like, look at how much I can fit in it, and it's so wonderful, and I love it. And I bought into all that hype, and I would just like to point out there are some things I just don't like about this bag. And it's more than the fact that I just am not really into structured bags. I think it's just the way it sits on me and how it sits in front like that and the fact that obviously I could change this strap. I tried putting on a guitar strap from one of my other bags, but I didn't really like the way that looked. And I know that that's the new style. They have the ones with the, the guitar strap with this shape of this bag. I just, I didn't like the aesthetic. So I would save my money instead of spending it on the Alma BB. So that's that. What would I recommend and spend my money on right now? Uh, I'm reading this wonderful book by Hank Philippi Ryan called, let me find it, oh, The House Guest. It's called The House Guest. I was going to find it for you, but then I realized like it's on my, <laughs> it's on my phone. I have the Kindle version. And, um, I'm going to show you a picture. Like it is, it's a really great book. Hank Philippi Ryan is one of my favorite authors ever. And I think that this is a worthy investment. Um, so definitely check out, I'm not done with the book, but check out that book. Um, where else would I be spending my money? As I'm going around and, and dealing with all of these people and notes and things that I have to take, I would definitely be spending my money uh, instead of the Alma BB on an iPad and an Apple Pencil because those two pieces of tech come in handy. It's so much more than any type of like other, other computer accessories that I have, like any other computer accessories I have. The iPad, this one happens to have the case on it, but it's my, this is my work iPad and pencil. I think those are worthy, more worthy investments than the Alma BB. <laughs> get yourself a book, get yourself a tablet, get yourself an Apple pencil. Um, and those are the things that I recommend for this week. Next week, we'll go through a different bag, a different book, um, and a different piece of technology. And I'll let you know if I recommend them or not.